Hi everyone, welcome to Ozark's First Fast and Local, the Ozark's first and only online news report where we bring you stories, headlines, weather, and of course, we do it in a matter of minutes so we can get through it pretty quick. I'm Natalie Nunn. Well, for Chiefs Kingdom, you may have heard there's a big game this weekend and in Kansas City the hottest ticket in town might not be for the game instead it could be for this cookie cake I did not expect chest hair to be so appetizing <laughs> at this point this morning we stopped officially taking orders because it, it's crazy <laughs> That is Hannah Stumpner, and she works for Eileen's Colossal Cookies, and she is the mastermind behind this beauty, the Jason Kelsey Cookie Cake. It takes Hannah about 15 minutes to freehand one cake, and she has 100 to do by the end of Saturday. That's why they've stopped taking orders. They did give one cake to Travis in hopes he passes it along to his brother. And I think my favorite part of this cake is probably the chocolate shavings for chest hair. How hilarious. We have more on our website, OzarksFirst.com. We also have good news for Target lovers. Work on Springfield's second Target location will begin soon. The new store will not be as large as Super Target, but will still be larger than the existing Target on South Glenstone. So that is good news. We have more on our website, OzarksFirst.com. Mike's done a great job of following along and keeping us updated. No word on when it'll open, but we'll bring it to you whenever we do here. Okay, this is a fun story I worked on today. Cat lovers, do you feel like your cat's extra smart and can predict the weather? Well, there's some old cat folklore, weather folklore, <laughs> that is going around, and perhaps your cat can. Like when a cat lies in the sun um, in February, it's going to be frozen in March, so I don't know. There's some about the cat sneezing that rain soon follows. We have all of these on our website, OzarksFirst.com. Go check them out. Um, I'm not a cat person. I don't have a cat, but maybe there's some truth to this. Maybe your cat could take my job soon. <laughs> okay, um, I am sick of the dreary conditions. I was just talking to Jamie Warren and said, are we ever gonna snap out of this? And we are, she's you know, gonna take some time. If you're heading out over the next 12 hours, we're going to see 40 degree temperatures till about 10, 11 o'clock. We'll dip into the mid 30s overnight. We're going to see the chance of rain return overnight into Saturday morning. We can see heavy rain at times with this. This is at 2.30 a.m. You see that rain moving in from the southwest. And yes, that's a little snow showing up. Even though temperatures will be above freezing, we could see some snow mixed in on the tail end of this. This is at 1.30 on Saturday, so you can expect a cold rain. It's not going to be real warm, and that's going to move on out, and by Sunday, by Sunday afternoon, we should actually see a peak of the sun. Maybe some blue sky. That's going to be exciting to see. Your weekend forecast, 39 degrees with fog and cold rain on Saturday, and then Sunday, that fog possible and, in the uh, morning hours then so clearing by the afternoon we will be right at average at 45 by, degrees you know, hour, well i hope you guys have a great uh, weekend if you um check out our news we are not on color 10 at five and six tonight but we will be here on color 10 at 10 o'clock we are on fox 49 at 6 30 and 9. have a great weekend and go chiefs